Today I'm going to make the blast gate for the dust collector. I'm just gonna line up the slider on one of the plates and then use a bread point bit to mark the positions of the bearings. These bearings will allow the slider to move with very little friction even when the pushing force is only applied at the top or the bottom. And now I'm gonna stick the pieces together and drill holes for the shafts and for a couple of pieces of threaded rod that will hold the entire thing together. I'm gonna use my drill press to press these into their holes at 90 degrees to the surface. And a bit of epoxy secures them in place. On the other plate I use a slotted piece of the same kind of steel shaft to ream out the holes a little bit. And I'm gonna glue in the pieces of threaded rod. And now I'm just gonna epoxy this in place.
This is going to be the adapter for attaching the standard hose connectors. This cover will hopefully keep out some of the dirt. Now this blast gate consists of three layers, the back plate, the slider and the front plate. The original idea was that the pressure when the system is running is gonna force these two plates together and create a tight seal. Which means that when the system is not pressurized, the slider should be able to move against very little friction. And that in turn means that I could use a small and cheap motor for automating this thing. But that didn't work out so well because the pressure times this relatively small cross section does not exert enough force to reliably squeeze these plates together. As you can see it barely works when only the smaller hose is attached, which is much lighter and has a lot more resistance to the airflow. There are a couple of things that I could change about the overall shape of the parts to maybe make it work, but I really doubt that this would be practical, at least not for this setup. What I certainly can't do is widen the cross section of these openings, because that would certainly result in a lot more force pushing the plates together, but it will also mean a drop in airspeed, and that will cause material buildup in the blast gate, which is really bad, and it would also cause some more resistance. It was an idea and it might just work really well for a bigger system. What I did to make it work despite of that is to install these little spacers that I can compress by tightening those nuts and that way I can set the space between the plates very precisely to get a very tight seal and still very little friction when moving the slider. And it works great.